Hi, my name is Jonathan Burke. I own and operate the six levels in Orlando, Florida, and I've been training Paula Creamer for almost three years. The type of training I do with Paula is very mixed martial arts related. My background is mixed martial arts, and so we incorporate a lot of those functional type training skills for Paula to incorporate core, cardio, some strength, some conditioning, flexibility, range of motion, and uh, really on how to use it for leverage and body mechanics, which applies to golf. And when you combo exercises together, it's called a superset, and you get more benefit from it. And you get more tired. Yes. <laughs> so now we're gonna do this. Well, actually, my, my coach came to me, and you know we were trying to build a little bit more speed in, in, in my body and trying to, to figure out why why don't I hit it farther? Why am I, why am I not stronger? And I work out a lot. And, and it was more of um, coming here to, to have a change and um, just look at, you know, not golf specific, you know, just being fit all over, you know, just do it, my whole body. Yeah, the way mixed martial arts applies to all sports, but in particular in this case golf, is it focuses a lot on your conditioning, mental state of mind, which golf is extremely mental, um, your core, range of motion, because you've got to be able to do a lot of dynamic functionality in mixed martial arts, and with golf it has to do a lot with your swing. So this force is serious stabilizers, forces to stay low, and so they cross over really well. It has to do with pivoting, your hip movement, seating down, staying low, which applies again to swinging, and staying on the ball, and things like that. So it's, it actually applies very well. Now, here we're doing assisted jump ups, and the only reason I'm assisting is risk of injury. I don't want to take a chance on Paul getting injured, although she's more than capable of doing this on her own. <laughs> Just, we had, never know. We never know. Gym, so. You know, it's it's a long season. You know, we play 30 weeks of the year. We travel um, all over, and and being physically you know, just fit, you know, you feel better. And at the end of the year, you want to feel just as strong as you did when you teed it up in, in January. And that's awesome for cardio, explosiveness. You know, when you go into that swing, and you have to boom, crack the ball, and it gives that fast twitch muscle that we need to use in fighting and golf. Being uh, sore is, I think, one of the, the worst things uh, for a golfer. Um, and this, I, I'm, I'm not. I mean, obviously, you can, can kick it a little bit harder, and you can have your days where you know, you know it's tough to move. But even then, I could work out, and then 45 minutes later, even 30 minutes later, I can go out and hit a bucket of golf balls and, and not even feel a difference. Training Paul is a lot of fun. I mean, awesome personality. She definitely is no pushover. She loves to work hard, and um, she definitely speaks her mind. But she's at the same time, she's uh, very receptive. Good job. <laughs> So that's real good because again, it's, it's your core, it's your arms. We keep her low in that stance. She's got to be conditioned, she's got to stay mentally focused so she doesn't punch me in the face. Yes, <laughs> and it's happened before. Accidentally, of course. It happened today, Grandpa. I loved working out with John. Um, it took me a little while to get used to it. It's a, not your, your typical golf workout, but um, it's definitely has made me a lot stronger. I feel better. Um, it's a little bit of everything. It's kind of just mentally being strong, but also more importantly you know, for your body to be physically um, tough and, and prevent injuries too. Most athletes, and I've gotten to work with a lot, they like to stay within a certain box. And the ones that come to me are looking for something new to break out of that. And Paula definitely fits that mold. She's, um, in my opinion, a pioneer of fitness.